Hello, my beautiful sweets. Sweet Sadie J coming back at you. Hope everyone's having a wonderful day, afternoon, evening, whatever time you're watching this video. You guys, what in the world hit me on Monday? I have no idea. Lord have mercy. I thought I was dying for real, you guys. I think it was my medicine. I stopped taking it today. I did not take it at all today because I did not want to be sick for my birthday. Today is my older sister's birthday. Happy birthday, Lena. I know she's gonna see this after her birthday, but I just got my strength back enough to do the things that I was trying to do for her birthday and fulfill some cake orders and I had a banana pudding order. Oh my God, you guys. Anyway, I wanted to come on and share a small little I went back to all these, got a few things for the banana pudding, and um, I went to two Dollar Trees. They didn't have too much, but I'm gonna share it with you anyway. And I'm gonna insert a couple of pictures at the end of the video of the cake that I just made for my cousin's wife, Toya. She's a baby, she's 38, she just turned 38. Her and my sister share the same birthday. But I hope everyone's doing good hanging in there welcome back to my channel thank you all so much for coming back and wishing me well because yeah my rib cage is completely sore when i try to sneeze or cough or something i'm so sore because of yesterday's debauchery we're gonna just call it that a debauchery but let's go in the kitchen i'm gonna show you guys what i got from all these i'll be right back okay my sweets I went to Aldi's, like I said before, to get the stuff for the banana pudding. I got um, the vanilla wafers. This is the Benton's um, brand, but they all taste the same to me. I got a big bundle of bananas and I want to leave them there and let them get a little bit ripe because I'm going to be making several banana puddings on Thursday and Friday. So I want <laughs> those bananas to be nice and ripe. As you can see, I got the dark spotted ones because that makes the banana sweeter. I wanted vanilla pudding and banana pudding, instant pudding, but all these didn't have any banana pudding, y'all. I was very upset and I did not feel like going anywhere else. I might pick some up tomorrow while I'm out for my birthday, but I'm not sure. Either way, the vanilla pudding is fine. You don't need the banana, I just wanted to mix them. So I usually use like three boxes of banana pudding, I mean of vanilla pudding, well, I usually use two boxes of vanilla pudding and one box of banana, but that's fine. Really, trust me. <laughs> I was pleasantly surprised that they still had the eggs on sale for 49 cents. She said um, they would be that like that for a while, and I was very surprised, so I picked up two more. You can see the date is what? April, let's say April 1st. Yep. Best Buy by April 1st, so they're still good. And then I had soup on my mind when I was in the store, because y'all know this queasy stomach. <laughs> yeah, I bought this in Aldi's, because I never had this before, and I just wanted some chicken noodle soup. And so I got this, and you get two pouches, but I ended up getting some ramen noodles from the Dollar Tree, which was, you know, what I'm used to. And then I ran to Food Line, did a water run, and I got like 10 bottles of my diatonic water, three bottles of my distilled water because I was out of everything, okay? If you hear anything in the background, that's the washing machine going because I am disinfecting my entire house, y'all. I'm cleaning up everything. All right, I'm gonna go around to the dining room and then we're gonna do the Dollar Tree haul. I'll be right back. Okay, my sweets, I'm back. Oh my God, I don't know if this is a large Dollar Tree haul or not, but I hope you guys are comfortable, get relaxed, get something to drink, to eat maybe, because I think this might be a little long. But I wanted to get into this and show you guys. They've been showing these earring holders, I think they call them, jewelry holders, for a long time in the Dollar Tree. And I finally just picked up one, and I don't know if I'm gonna throw this into my sister's birthday bag or if I'm gonna keep it, cause y'all know, I turned those hangers from the Dollar Tree into my, the um, 
scarf hang hangers and the other one I turn those into my jewelry hangers and that's what all my paparazzi all the necklaces all the things that you guys send me that's where all of my stuff is um, hanging from I'll show you guys one of these days but I got some coupons in the mail what was it I got sick Monday I checked the mailbox on Saturday and I had excuse me for bending I got some coupons in the mail from Bath and Body Works. Perfect timing, perfect timing. You got four of the pink coupons, one with a free gift and one with 20% off. And the first free gift that they gave you was up to $14.50 or $14.98, $15 for a free gift, full size free gift, and then 20% off of whatever you purchase so these are for later these are from oh boy gonna need the specs I think April 1st to May something and they were really really trying to push their tropical paradise they had so much tropical stuff up in there y'all I was getting a little nauseated because y'all know I had a weak stomach so I wasn't all the way there but it's like all this stuff white kaki and you know, <laughs> beach coconut, fresh from the paradise. They had so much stuff. I really just walked around for a while. They had the island margarita candle. But my sister likes lavender. And she told me some other fragrances that she liked. But y'all know, I'm old. I can't remember. <laughs> so I walked around and walked around until I could find something. She needed some candles. I already have one candle in her bag. And I found this dream. It's called Linen and Lavender Scented Candle made with essential oils, white bar, white barn, sorry. And it looks like this. It's so pretty. It looks just like my sister. Very, very clean, very crisp. And it's the three wick. So, uh, it smells really, it smells like tea to me. If you ever smell black tea, it smells really good so I got her that I forgot to ask for the gift packaging but it's okay y'all know I can do my own and then for my free gift I really had a hard time because they had so much stuff in there up to um that you could have picked but I chose this coconut 24 hour moisture ultra shea body cream with coconut oil and cocoa butter and I thought she would like that so I threw, that's a big, big size, y'all. And it was um, regularly priced $14.50. And that was what my, uh, that was what my free coupon was for. So I got this completely free. The candle was 24 something. Y'all know Bath and Body Works regular prices. And I got 20% off of that. So it brought my bill down to like, 20 21 dollars or 20 dollars and some change and i was like yes please so i walked out of there with less than 21 dollars with my free coupons i love when they when i get those coupons in the mail and it came at such a perfect time because what i really ordered her for her birthday won't get here in time enough well her birthday's today but yeah it won't get here in time enough so anyway she knows it's coming all right, let's jump right into this Dollar Tree haul. And before I forget, let me do these real quick. I got some craft paper roll from Jot. Jot. Jot, Jot, Jot. What does Jen always say? Jot, you rock. Something like that. And it looks like this. It is, ooh, don't knock yourself out, Sadie. It is 30 inches by 15 feet. And this is perfect for when I do those lamp giveaways. And I can just wrap them in this. And I put a fragile sticker on them and mail them all on their way, honey, because I ain't trying to put a box inside another box. So, and I found another bag because I'm going to need it. Because if you guys saw my sister comment on my channel, she wanted two of those lamps for her birthday. So, when I went lamp a hunting, a hunting I will go. <laughs> when I went lamp a hunting, and I got to do another round, I keep forgetting. But I have to get, I had to get another bag and I saw this one, it was so pretty. Doesn't that look like Easter? Oh my God, it's so gorgeous. Just says happy birthday. So that'll fit her lamps and her 
Bath and Body Works in because her other bag is already full. You know, me and my bright ideas. Okay. And I was so surprised, you guys, to find these at my small Dollar Tree. What? Get the hay out of here. I found the small storage bags at the at the small Dollar Tree, y'all. And I went over there today and they still had them. And they had them in the dark. They're calling these, yeah, storage bins. And you can see how they're supposed to look. Let me see if I can get this. Yeah, you see how they're supposed to look? And y'all know I need all the storage I can get. And they had them in the dark and they had them in the light. And I got two of the dark ones and two of the light ones. I opened one up so that you guys could see what they look like because I forgot to open the other ones up, the big ones. It's not really, really thick, but you can put a piece of cardboard or something strong like a plate, charger plate or something if it'll fit, if you can get the square ones. Just down there to make it solid if you like. But these are really, really cute. It can hold a lot, and I do mean a lot of my Dollar Tree stuff. And I'm gonna get that done before the month of March is over with. I will have that storage closet re-decluttered and reorganized, because right now, I can't get to nothing. I don't know where anything is in there, but I was so happy to find those at the Small Dollar Tree? What? I looked all over for the larger ones. I'm neither one of them had them. If they got them, like I said, they sold out. They probably sold out before I got there, but I saw hide nor hair of um, the larger ones in either of my stores. So I've been sending out some small little mail to friends, you know. Every now and then people leave little comments about they can't find certain things, and I just like to surprise them, you know with a little something something if I find it or if I have it in my arsenal. And it gives me an opportunity to rid myself of some of this stuff. <laughs> I digress. <laughs> so I got these two sizes. I got the medium one, which is six inches by nine inches. And this one is six inches by nine inches. Oh, they both say the same thing. Oh no, this one's 15.24, this one's 15.2. So you can clearly see they're two different sizes. So I got the smaller one and the medium one and they both come in two packs, okay? And then I found the another great find at the Small Dollar Tree, finally, was this Be Active Disinfectant Wipes. It says kills coronavirus that causes COVID-19 and you have 20 wipes in here and it looks like that. And I was very, very happy to find it because I had checked my store several times and no go. <laughs> so I got four of these and I got what? Yeah, one for each of us, one for mom and one for each of my sisters. So I got be active for coronavirus. So I need to take those with me tomorrow. And I found well, I didn't find, I showed you guys this before in a walkthrough and in a haul. The um, LA Colors Sunday Lip Balm. They had the Gelato Balm and then they had the Lip Balm and they just call this the Sunday Lip Balm and this is in the Pineapple. And I got that and I was, I've never had my Pineapple Lip Balm before you guys. And it says it's new, so. I mean, I know it's new because I had never saw this. Again, this is over at the small Dollar Tree to my chagrin, to my chagrin at the dollar, small Dollar Tree. I'd be shocked when I'd be finding, I, that's why I always tell people, don't sleep on that small Dollar Tree because you can find some great finds over there if you look. And then I need some more um, thank you cards because I'm trying to put a thank you card in every correspondence that I, that I have or I send out and I really, really love this purple and it just simply says, thank you. Thank you and of course it's blank inside. I can write whatever I want inside. So this is the eight instead of six. So I really should have gotten two of these because the other ones I got, they were only like six. Oh, and I told you guys, I was gonna tell you about that piece of um, carpet that you put down under your rugs to make your rugs stick. 
I put it over here on my dining room table and then put my cloth tablecloth over top of it. I have so far, so far, I've not had any problems with my tablecloth walking. It just, it sticks right to it, it holds it in place. And I was so happy, cause I was like, just for a dollar, a dollar, that solved that problem. Okay, let's see. My hair is getting caught in the back of my, my shirt. You know, that's what happens sometimes. Now I got this whole bag of stuff that I have no idea what's in here. Oh Lord. Oh Lord, not another. <laughs> Sometimes I don't even remember what I bought, you guys, because it sits here so long. And then after being sick yesterday, it really just threw my day, my whole day off, my whole week off. And uh, yeah, that was uh that was a surprise. <laughs> don't understand why it happened. I don't understand where it came from. But you know that thing I always say, we make our plans, but God orders our steps. So, some of this stuff is mostly kid stuff, again, except for this. I got this, um, what do they call it? A paint scraper, and I love this thing. I've already used it, you guys. I just had to bring it on and show you guys when you're trying to get up something sticky from your floor and stuff before you mop. This works really, really well, and it's wide so you can cover a lot of area at the same time and I'm going to use this on my front door because my paint is I don't know it's doing something but yeah I'm gonna use this to scrape that off because this thing is great and look at the handle for a dollar at the Dollar Tree it looks like you got something from Home Depot so yeah that was great I'm glad I, I saw that all right now let's get into this little stuff because this is mostly toys I found these four piece foam dice and I thought they were so cute. We've all seen the round ones that they had out, the big round ones that people were making. Um, crafters were turning into snowmen, like I think Gail, on uh, Gail Patricia's Halls and more. You should go over and check out her channel. Tell you, tell her sweet Sadie J sent you. She made some of the cutest little um, snowmen out of those dice. But I found these, and these were really different. And I was like, well, you know what? Let me hold on to them and let me see what I can do with these because maybe I can come up with something like that. You know, not the snowman, of course, you know, but we're in March now. But I thought these were really cute. And it just says foam dice, four piece for ages three and up. And it is a Greenbrier product. So I thought those were really, really cute. I got those. Then I found this weird, World's Tallest Buildings. It's actually a card game. It's called Top Top Trumps. No, not 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 him. This is just a, this is just called Top Trumps. It looks like this, and it's a card game. Okay, I know you can't probably can't really see that, but it's got all the tower towers, the huge world's top tallest building. I can't talk, y'all. Mm. What's wrong with the brain and the mouth? Y'all gotta catch up with each other. <laughs> so you'll see cards like this where it'll say world's tall tallest buildings. It's really, really cute. Then it'll say, um, it'll tell you all these towers in different parts of the world. Uh, I can't even, I can't pronounce this one. Burji Khalifa, I guess this is in Indians. And it says, oh, Bombay Yuri. So yeah, I couldn't even pronounce that, but it looks like that. I thought it was very interesting and I could only find one. This is the Eiffel Tower. This is the Empire State Building. So it's got all these tall buildings, the Sherrod, the Shard in London, England. So I thought that was pretty cute. It says it's for ages, uh, it said it was for ages six plus. So I got that for a dollar. I said maybe one day when this COVID is completely over with. People are acting like it's over already, but it's not. It's not. It's still there. <laughs> but when it's completely over, my girlfriends and I here in the building, in our building can get together and play that game. I found something else. 
Y'all know, I'm just a kid at heart. I mean, I can't help it. I found this 3D magnet. I thought it was so freaking cute. Reminded me of my teenage years with the um, cassette and the roller skates. And it looks like this. So cute. Absolutely, and it's 3D, so it goes back and forth, and it has the magnet on the back, so that y'all know, that's going right on my refrigerator, but I remember bopping and booping and booping to the roller, to the music, with the boom boxes in your hands, with the cassette players going, and the roller skates, I'm like, oh my god, I couldn't find any more, it says view 3D depth, um, love, lovely, girls rule, beyond, good, uh, good vibes, and it's a green briar product, and that's all it says. And it was purple. <laughs> just sitting right there, just waiting for me to come by and scoop it up. And scoop it up, I did. <sighs> now, I sat here for, I don't know how long after I purchased this, y'all. Playing with it, like a little kid. I don't care. I re Y'all remember these? Oh my God. What did they used to call them, water games? They are so so cute. Let me see if we can get this to focus. Can we get y'all to focus? This is so good. Man, I sat here. I almost won the game too, y'all. I was one ring away from getting it on both the hooks. And then when I pushed the button, they flew off. <laughs> but I swear, it's so much fun. You just push your buttons and the rings pop up. I hope you guys can see this. I know, I see a glare. I see a glare. But this is what I got from Dollar Tree and I love it. I don't know, it's still wrapped in the plastic. I haven't taken it out of the plastic yet because I'm not sure if I'm gonna give it away because I've been quite enjoying it. <laughs> I've got two rings on here already. And I just, you, you can really get addicted to it, you know? So I found only this one, this one. I couldn't find any more. Every time I find one of something, I go to look around to see if there's any more, and there's and I can't find them. So, who's ever changing their minds and putting them where they don't belong? Thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. Other than that, I probably wouldn't find them. And then I found these Flick Stars. These are Justice League Times Three DC Flick Stars. And I had never seen these before. So I got this one. And I've got the women in here. This is, yeah, same thing. You push something in the back and they go flying. I don't know. They're for kids. Y'all know. These are just go in the little um, basket. I'm going to fill one of my baskets up with the toys for the kids. It's just to see how many I've um, accumulated um, so far. But it has Batman on the uh, on here. I don't know if you can see him. Is my hand in the way? Yep. Yeah. So we've got Batman and they look like that. And then we've got this one. Oh, here's Batman. <laughs> that was Wonder Woman. Okay. So they are the DC um, action figures. And you get three of them in here. They say they're plus four um, for ages four and up. And you get three in each bag. So, I grabbed them. I digress. Okay, I was looking for the big container of the chalk that they have out. But they don't have it in any of my um, Dollar Trees yet. I haven't been able to find it. But when I was over at the small Dollar Tree, I did find this small little pack of the chalk. And uh, I told you guys before, I plan on trying to help my girlfriend down the hall decorate our little sitting area out here and I want to draw on the brick with some of the chalk I'm hoping when I go to Raleigh or down to Raleigh whenever I, that I'll find a big case with the big ones because they're nice and strong but anyway for right now I could only find that one and I grabbed it so and I already told y'all the story behind the Ninja Turtle thing with me I found this Ninja Mutant this Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle it's just a figurine, and it doesn't say which one he is. He's got the brown thing on, so let me see. He's a little tiny. This is Michelangelo, okay? And he looks like this. I can't see with my glasses on. 
Hang see with him off. Uh, so this is what he looks like. He's tiny, but I'm not, he's not coming out of there. It's just for, you know, for me, for memorabilia. And then I found one of the Thai babies, Ninja Turtles, which I thought was so darling. I thought he was so cute. <laughs> I was like, oh my God, I got a Thai baby um, Ninja Turtle. So I got him. That's my Ninja Turtle stuff. And then we go over to the Hot Wheels. And why do I go over there, y'all? I do not know. But somebody was telling me that they had found this uh, truck and they had, they were really happy about getting it. And I told her, I said, you know, I've been seeing it and seeing it and seeing it and I never picked it up <sighs> because it's kind of got like mixed, I don't know. I remember these old trucks. My grandfather and them had them, but I went ahead, I saw it again and I went ahead and I got it. It's called the Mighty Max, uh, Mighty Max Garage, and it's a 52 Chevy, and it's a Pro uh, Rod Squad, and it looks like this, and it just says, 52 Chevy Rod Squad, be the leader of the pack with this fleet of custom hot rods. That's all it really says on that one. So I got it. I did go ahead and get it to add to my collection, but I must stop with these Hot Wheels. I must. Yeah, right. <laughs> and then I got, I found this. Poison Arrow, Highway Daredevils, one of five. And I'm just like, really guys? Come on, Sadie, stop. This is Fearless Stunt Vehicles, ready for stunting action. Poison Arrow. I hope you guys can see that. It's a plane, it's really cute. I was like, you know, that yellow was like calling me like, oh wow. And then it's got the little spinner on the, on the end. The little propeller whatever it is so yeah I got it I told y'all when I go into Dollar Tree I go blank but this one I really really liked I really like this one this is a special feature um, it's called the carbonator and it's Xperia Motors and it looks like a ketchup bottle or a pop bottle I hope you guys can see that and you'll see that Hold on. I can't see with these dang on glasses on. I can't see with them all. It looks like a pop bottle or a ketchup bottle. Let me see if we can get that to go closer. Come on, camera. It's so cute. If you can see it up here, you see the bottle cap right there? That's what it looks like. And it says, Experiment Motors. It's called the Carbonator. Fuel your imagination. Get those wheels turning and experiment with the world around you and then you can see on the back here where they're popping the um the top right here so it's like a pop bottle sorry y'all ah oh, crappers so i know my camera could do better it's time to get a new camera i know it is so yeah it just says a special feature and this is what she looks like i thought she was so cute so i had to have her so i didn't feel bad about getting her and then and then and then and then I found another one of the journals but this one was with the trolls and y'all know how I love the trolls and this is with Queen Barb <laughs> and I had to get her I had to get him him her whoever I had to get him and it's like his pages are like black or gray they look like this and they have the little flowers down on the bottom of them. And they're so cute. So I had to get it to add with my other journals. And then I found this Ninja Turtle. Again, Nickelodeon. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle 2-pack scratch art activity set. I thought this was really cool. I probably will take it out myself and play with it. It looks like this. It's so cute. You get two of them. And there's the pencil or you know, a piece of wood right there where you can take that and scratch your, and do your art on here. And I thought that was really cool for, um, you know, a dollar at the Dollar Tree. And it just says two pack scratch art activity set from Nickelodeon. So, and it's Greenbrier too, still from Greenbrier. So I got that. And then I told you guys I needed five more of those Bible activity sticker books. 
that they had for Easter. And I went to, I think it was the fourth Dollar Tree in Raleigh on a road trip. And I found one of each. One of each. So I found Noah. I found, what is it, Jonah, Moses, Jesus, and David. So I got one of each so I could have all 25 for when I do the kids' um, bags up. And I just think these are so cool, you know. I don't know. It's just me, okay. And when I was at this Dollar Tree, they had the National Geographic notebooks. But there was this one lady that every all I went up and down, she was right on my coattail. And what bothered me the most was she had a baby in a stroller with her. And I was like, social distancing and a pandemic just didn't resonate with her. And so I just grabbed one of these while I was there. I really wanted to get them all, but um, they had some really cool ones. If I make my way back down there and they still have them, I will get some more because notebooks never go to waste in my house. I love them, but the National Geographic ones, this was the one that I grabbed at the time because I got so frustrated. She was right, I mean right behind me. I looked at her and she's like, huh? <laughs> and I just, I just walked away. I just, <sighs> breathe, Sadie, breathe. <laughs> so you can see he has a little astronaut there. It's so cute and he's in space. And I really, really like these. And I'm looking for, I will be looking for the um, ones with the animals on them. They have some really cute ones I've seen floating around with um, the forest animals and the jungle animals. Really cute. And they look like baby animals. But that's it, you guys. That is the end of my super duper, I don't know, Dollar Tree haul. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Love, peace, and happiness. Remember, guys, be kind to each other. The world is big enough for us all. Thank you so much for all the love and support you show my channel. Thank you for all the birthday wishes you um, showed my sister and myself. I love you guys. Have a blessed day. Don't forget, like, comment, and subscribe. Bye, guys.